to Mason Dew Coffee Roasters. What can I get for you? Can I have a flat light, please, Colette? Yeah, of course. Aye, it's, uh, so it's all settled in now. Um, we trained last night, so I kind of got our feet back on the ground and kind of looked at the job ahead, but it's just great memories from the weekend. I think even the club put the, the one out yesterday and watching it again, I must have watched every video four or five times and from I remember going on the pitch with 10 minutes to go thinking we're not going to do it, um, thinking how we let everyone down and, and then for it to finish the way it did, it's, it's probably a relief more than anything. <laughs> Mental. The first one I remember chasing after, and it was actually one of our pals, Barry Dean, came and jumped on me. And I just remember my legs shaking, and then, like, they were done, I had nothing left. So I managed to get him off and go back to the park. And then the second one, I think I'd just fallen a heap. Yeah! Yeah! I think a lot of them are customers, so it was uh, it was good. But like you say, you know so many faces in Breakin. Um I've seen it maybe, I was here for two years before seen the same faces this year and now we've got the shop here so you see a lot more people um, so there's just so many people just to hug and just to celebrate with it was unbelievable um, if anyone asks I'm the worst footballer here I've got I say John and Harry so I'm very much at the bottom of the scale but it's uh, it's great to see so many folk excited about the football. We all come in here, they get a chat about the football. It's been good this year because we've won a lot of games, but even the draws, I get my ears felt a few times uh, when we get a draw. So, no, it's brilliant. And everyone, everyone's been in uh, the last couple of days just telling their stories about Saturday, where they ended up, um, how they felt. So it's been brilliant. The send-off that we got when we left the bus, I think everyone was taken by surprise. Um, when we came back off the bus, or even up at the game, the amount of fans that were there. And then when we came back off the bus, we didn't know the fans were in the stand. And like when you turn the corner and see everyone there, it, it was unbelievable. If I take you back to Saturday and, and the moments that they finished after that, I think there was images of the breaking site of you on the phone. Who, who were you on the phone? Uh, the yeah, so that was my sister. So I think it was when I saw my mum after, she so like, sister's been trying to FaceTime you, you speak to her. And she went to New Zealand uh, in August. So my math isn't great in that, but I think about seven, eight months she's been away for. Um, and probably up to the lead up to this, I've not spoke, I didn't speak to many folk on the lead up to this. So. Um, she'd stayed up all night, she'd got a top made uh, with my name on the back uh, and I was just emotional, like, like I say, it was a shame she's not been there because she's followed me all my days, she's from Breakin as well, so, um, and for not to be there, obviously there was sad tears and that, but obviously tears of joy that we'd we just done it as well. What time was it in New Zealand? I think it was something like four o'clock in the morning, I don't she said she didn't sleep all night, um, she'd been up every hour um, just watching the results. Um, and trust us to make it stressful for her and do it in the last five minutes. Yeah. It wasn't when I phoned her. I thought I'd be all right in that, but she had seen in her face like how emotional she was, and just it just kind of hit me. It, it was a special day. Like there was so much pressure on us all, all week, all season really. Um, I've seen it maybe in here a bit more. Like folks saying every day about it. There's obviously the pressure from the other teams um, on the day of the game, the amount of folk that were here, the amount of folk that are giving you best wishes. Um, so just to finally do it, and like you say, like just see my sister that I've not seen for so long, um, and see that she's still up at stupid o'clock, um, it was just so good. Sorry, buddy. Big hug for your mum in the picture. Yeah, no, that, that was really nice. It was, um, she, I think she's been at every single game this season, home and away. 
even the broader game, she went up on her own and drove herself up to see it. So, uh, my mum's followed me since day one. Um, it's the first time that I've ever won anything, like trophy-wise. Um, and I mean, it's nothing like a try. And every year I played, I've tried to win something. So, to finally get it on the last day, um, I never thought I'd see my mum doing a pitch invasion either for, <laughs> for all the years. So it was brilliant. So I had her and my partner, Becca. Um, I felt for Becca because she had to look after my mum. Normally that's my sister's job. So um, it'd be a stressful 90 minutes for them. But like you say, it was just more so relief, I think, for everyone involved. Me, like my mum, family. It was just relief that we'd finally done it. There we go. Is that everything for you? That's all. Final minutes, Chloe. Okay. There we go. Cheers.